staring at me. She's not staring at anything. Freak. but notice that you and I have something in common. Oh, do we? What say you and I arrange for your friend and my friend to meet? What's in it for me? Can we do that? I don't know, but it sounds like a fun little experiment, doesn't it? All right, let's give it a shot. Hey, Rose. Mine's great. She's eight years old. How old is yours? A Frankie? Uh, she's older. How much? Uh, isn't she a little big? Yeah, so? Can we go now? We're gonna leave soon. I'm sorry, I don't think we're interested. Deal! Maybe next time. What was all that about? Nothing, I was just talking. Yeah, what about? <laughs> None of your business. Just stop looking about. You keep on like this, you know what's gonna happen to us. Yeah, well, she looks great guard so she can avoid these chatty catties. I feel like I can see into your soul. Can I help you? Glad you asked, because as a matter of fact, you can. You almost done with that book? Well, actually, Great, I... Great, because I know which one you ought to read next. I said I feel like I can see into your soul. Self help book on how to meet people? Pilot, not again with this. I don't know what you're talking about. This is suggested reading, my friend, and since I can't read, I suggest you read it to me. Comprendo? Does Finn know about this? Why the hell would I tell Finn? Ah! Yes, I see your point. So, the first step is to go to an interesting social event. What's that mean? Well, there's an art gallery I've been wanting to go to. You want her to meet people, I'm bored her to death. No, 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 wait, 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 wait! Sorry, I'm sorry. Will people be nice?
What is it? Pinot. It's a fancy fruit punch. Try it. This looks fun, right? It looks crowded. says step two is to be unique. What's the use? No matter what we do, Finn's just gonna find a way to muck it all up. Dumb. Maybe they can help. So, what do you guys think? Step two, check. You want to get closer to the stage? I like your shirt. Say thanks. Thanks. What? Love it. I said thanks. Where did you get it? Um, they saw them where I work. Where do you work? The 24 hour video store in Fairmont. Video Paradiso? We love that place. I can't believe I've never seen you there before. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, I work the late shift, so. That's great. Too many places here close early. I'm Vespa. And this is my friend Zero. Do you want to come dance with us? No. Yep. This was a disaster. Well, maybe not. Wow, you weren't kidding. We could have been coming here this whole time. Just so you know, I totally don't blame you for leaving early. That crowd was way sketchy. But we're going to a show tomorrow night that's guaranteed to be super fun. Well, I guess. All right. Awesome! So we'll meet you at the door, and the address is right there, and I guess I'll see you there. Okay, bye. Are you excited? I don't know. Well, you should be, because this could be really fun. Or, it could be a real disaster. Finn? Hey, I didn't know you were coming. Yeah, well, I haven't been an invite to these things lately. Apologies in advance if the crowd's a little freaky, Frankie. Freaky Frankie! 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 Freaky Frankie!
I'm sorry. I have to go. You see what you did? You just had to push it, didn't you? You know, maybe if you weren't such a selfish bitch, I'll... What was that all about? In the bathroom, Kami and Kazi have been trying to get her out. Don't really want anyone in here with me right now. Well, why don't you come out here then? Don't really want to be out there either. Come on, Frankie. This is like that time in middle school with Derek, remember that? Derek was a jerk. Yeah, a big old jerk. He used to make me cry even on Sloppy Joe Tuesdays. Yeah, and you loved your Sloppy Joes. Remember what we did to make him stop picking on you? Yeah. Ben stuffed his pants with Sloppy Joe meat. Yeah, so it looked like he crapped his pants. Yeah, all the kids thought I made him poop with my mind. That's when they started calling me Freaky Frankie. Yeah. Well, remember that kid, Ren? He helped you get the Sloppy Meat. Oh yeah, Ren. Whatever happened to him? I don't know. He transferred schools or something. We got along because no one liked us. Yeah, but he liked you. You liked each other, remember? Yeah, I guess we did. You're getting older, kiddo. It's time you start making new friends. But I like the friends I have. You know what I mean. But no one out there likes me. They're all jerks. They're not all bad, though. There's good in people, I know it. How do you know? Because you're good. You're better than good, you're great. And if people like them made a person like you, then they can't all be that bad. Frankie! Don't listen to her. Pilot's gone crazy. What? What happened? He called me the B word. Wow. She's trying to get you to meet people. What'd you do after you did that? Punch his nose in. Did it hurt? Did it hurt Finn? No. Well, yeah, it started bleeding a little bit. Did you hear me? She's trying to get you to meet people. Well, I sort of figured. Calm down. We've talked about it and everything is fine. Have you all taken crazy pills? If she gets cozy with the locals, it's curtains for us. Where do you think imaginary friends go when craters move on with their lives? Wait. What's he talking about? He doesn't know what he's talking about. Finn, you don't know what you're talking like about. Like hell I don't. Are you prepared to leave her alone with these people? What? If you make friends, it'll kill us. You know what kills me? Is seeing her alone in a room full of people, and the only thing we can do to keep her safe is stand back and watch. What kills me is feeling a genuine love for someone that I'll never be able to share it with. No matter what I do, and no matter what I say, she will never be able to feel it. She made us up because she has no one else. So if giving up you, me, and, and everyone means that I don't have to ever see her alone in a room again, then I'd give it up in a heartbeat. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. Can I get in on this, or is it good guys only? <laughs> Finn, you're a bad guy, but you're a good friend. Hello? Is um anyone here? Oh, it's a couple from the club. What's their names again? Vespa and Zero. <laughs> Weird names. Frankie, we just wanted to come by and say sorry, I guess. No. I'm sorry. I'm just a little complicated. Well, I mean, I figured it was because of Zero. Why would I be weirded out by Zero? Because he's my friend and he's imaginary. What? Yeah, he told me that your friends were a little upset that we were hanging out. We weren't trying to steal her from you or anything. You can see us? They can see you? Of course I can. She can't, but I can. Wait, but... 
I can see you, so why can't she see them? Because you haven't introduced us yet. Oh, well, these are my friends. Pilot Finn's twins, Kami and Kazi, and Panda Bear. Am I shaking one of their hands? <laughs> no, but they're having a good laugh. Hi, I'm Pilot. Hi, Pilot. I'm Vespa. And this is my friend Zero. How come you didn't tell me before? I was shy. He thinks you're cute. <laughs> oh. You know, the show's still going on if you want to catch the encore. I don't know. If I leave, are you guys still going to be here when I get back? <laughs> yeah, we'll be here. How'd you find us? I followed the grumpy one here. Don't worry if the crowd begins to push. You just gotta push back. Believe it or not, it's kind of the fun. Come on. I'll help you push. Oh, hey. You tell me.